It's a bye week. Ohio State does not play this weekend. The next game is the following Friday at Northwestern. But Stephen Means, Nathan Baird, and me, Doug Maurice, we're going to keep working. So on Tuesday, the Buckeyes were, were working as well. We talked to Ryan Day, Greg Madison, and Kevin Wilson. And one of the groups that has impressed through the first six games is the offensive line. Kevin Wilson helps out a lot with the offensive line. Is there a particular aspect, Nathan, that has surprised you about this offensive line and the way they've played so far? Well, I think you have to give them some credit for just the the physicality that they've come with, and I think that showed up Saturday against Michigan State. Not at first. I think they got knocked back on their heels a little bit. I think there were some things that the Spartans brought that they weren't expecting, the way that uh, Michigan State moved around on defense, the way that there was pressure coming from different places. But they obviously made the adjustment. They put up almost 600 yards of offense over the last three quarters. They run for 300 yards of offense against what coming in statistically was one of the very best defensive fronts as far as stopping the run in the country. Um, I, I'm really impressed with Josh Myers and the way that he is kind of in the middle of that offense. I've talked about this before, but from a from a from uh, his brain standpoint, but also from just his brawn standpoint, the way he's going out there and, and really knocking some guys back, I think it's sort of setting a tone for the rest of that offensive line. Steven, when, when you hear um, the coaches talk about the offensive line, the way they've done, with the way this offense has, has played and the way Justin Fields has played and the way J.K. Dobbins has run the ball, how, how would you describe how important this offensive line play has been to the success of this offense through six games? Especially from a run game standpoint, they've been amazing. J.K. Dobbins' 67-yard run, a lot of that had to do with the offensive line and the tight ends. They're blocking so well from a running game step. Now, I think the passing game, they need to be a little better. I think Justin Fields has taken one too many sacks. Some of those are his fault. He's holding on to the ball too long. But some of those are on the offensive line. They've had some holding penalties, especially Jonah Jackson. I think as he's getting used to having this type of athlete at quarterback, there's some things that they still have to adjust to. But from a running game standpoint, Austin has one of the best running games in the country, and the offensive line is the credit for that. They are third in the nation in rushing, and I know there's some uh, – you know, I like to follow people on Twitter who are smarter at football uh, than me, which basically means everybody I follow on Twitter. And I know there was somebody who evaluates offensive line play that was saying he thinks Wyatt Davis is playing as, as well as any guard in the country right now. And there are just guys that, like, Josh Myers is really popping, you know, and I think Thayer Munford is – we don't talk about Thayer Munford that much because he's the one returning starter, and I think we end up talking about, well, the four new guys – Thayer Munford's locking it down, and like Jonah Jackson has done this before. Really, it, it's not a shock because you look at them individually, but I think Wyatt Davis is a, is a particular guy to watch. Um, he's a top 50 national recruit. Like, it's not a, sh- a shock that he's great. He showed at the end of last year what kind of player he was, and, and I've, we've talked about this a lot over the years. When Ohio State has been great offensively, offensively, they've often had great guards. And when you have some of those guys on the interior, it helps your interior run game. It keeps interior pressure off the face of your quarterback. Because, yeah, you know the tackle's got a block, but sometimes if you have a pocket where you can step up, even if you get pressure on the edge, you can find ways to feel comfortable in that pocket. Wyatt Davis is really good, and I think if, if you're ranking like guys who are doing their job and how important they are, um, I think Ohio State's guard play was maybe a little down last year, but you think about Billy Price, Pat Elfline, Michael Jordan, really good guards they've run through here. They're really important to making this offense work. Stephen Means, Nathan Baird, Doug Maurice, a bunch of stories planned this week during this bye. And then again, they are at Northwestern on Friday night, not this Friday, but the next. We'll be there in Evanston for now. That's it from Cleveland.com.